What is going on here? We've got a smoke alarm. There's a smoke alarm. The cover's up. The battery's missing. What's up? Well, I got a call from a guy. He wanted me to look at a smoke alarm. He had somebody in his condo. He was renting his condo out. And the smoke alarm went off all of a sudden in the middle of the day. There was no smoke going on. They weren't burning any toast in the toaster or, or smoking in the room or anything like that. It just kind of went off. And the, the renter went ahead and pulled that battery out of there. Now I've got to come here and take a look at this and see what's going on. Now there's three total smoke alarms in this unit. This is just one of them and they were all wired, hardwired in tandem to one another. So um, the other smoke alarms, nothing's, nothing's wrong with those. So that's why I think there's something wrong with this one and I'm going to go ahead and replace it. The smoke alarms don't cost very much. I got an, a replacement one for less than $20. And here's something important to realize that when you pull apart a smoke alarm, it's either going to be hardwired into your electrical system of your house or it's just going to be a battery operated one. Now this one here is hardwired and it has a battery and the reason why it has a battery is so that if the electrical to the house or the condo turns off, let's say there's a fire and the electricity shuts off, the battery is a backup and this alarm will still go off. Incidentally, you've got a little connection like this. This, this section here gets wired in to the, um, the wire nuts back in here. Okay, This section fits on the back of here and sometimes if you've got something hardwired like this, and let's say you think there's something wrong. Ooh, that scared me. It chirped at me. You hear that? <laughs> I was getting ready to touch here and I thought it was, is, was electrocuting me or something. Oh, goodness. Uh, here's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, there's three little prongs on here and those prongs fit on there. And sometimes if you think this isn't working, let's say, you want to make sure this is plugged in nice and tight to the back side of there because sometimes if you go to pull this off or move it or something, this could come loose from the back side. Okay, so make sure that plug connection is plugged in there tight. And then you can test out your, your alarm again. And if you still have problems with it, you know it's, you're probably better off just to go ahead and replace it. When I call an electrician and pay like a 65 to 95 dollar service call for him to say oh yeah you need to replace your 20 dollar smoke smoke alarm chances are that's all that's wrong with this smoke alarm okay all the wires are are tight and connected properly and if anything is wrong it's got to be inside this smoke alarm here now if you go ahead and replace this for less than 20 dollars and if you still have a problem, would I call an electrician at that point? Mm, yeah, probably. Because it's got to be something else in your system. Now, do I know 100% for sure that it's, this, that it's this smoke alarm? No, but I'm 98% sure. I've replaced these in the past when there's been a problem and then I haven't had a problem. So that's one of the quickest, easiest, simplest things to do is to go ahead and replace your entire smoke alarm. You know, since I have it this far, I'm going to go ahead and pull these wire nuts out very carefully. And um, I'm just going to look and see. It looks like these wires are tight. And, and uh, I don't have to pull them out very far. Okay. All these wire nuts are on tight. I'm looking up in the box. Everything looks fine. 
you know, you could check that out. If you see something drastic like the wire nut's off or there's a wire exposed in there, chances are that could make your smoke alarm not work properly, okay? So that could be the whole problem and maybe you don't have to replace your smoke alarm at all. Okay, but um, let me show you one more thing here. These wire nuts and everything are attaching this little snap goodie that fits onto the back of the smoke alarm. Now before you go all gung-ho on taking this apart, thinking, oh yeah, I gotta put the new one in there and this, that, and the other thing, look at your new smoke alarm because it may have a little adapter that snaps into here and then snaps on the back of the new um, smoke alarm and then you may not even have to mess with these wire nuts at all. Alright? And uh, that's what I think I'm going to do because I'm just replacing an existing one. I don't have to pull this off. I know the wires are tight and everything. And uh, I believe mine, new one, has a fitting that fits right on there. I just wanted to show you the smoke alarm I got. You don't have to buy this particular one or anything like that. But I got one here. See, it says adapter plug includes a 120 volt AC hardwire adapter plug. Fast, easy, connects this alarm to existing smoke alarm wiring. No wiring, rewiring necessary. Compatible with most, ah, uh, what does it say? Most kitty models users and instructions included okay so I think it's got a couple little adapters in here that's gonna fit <laughs> that's all I have for now but I'll be back with more videos <laughs>